magic presence. The physical form, you, your outer self, is at the bottom. Above or over that is the individualized presence of God, the magic I am presence, your source. It is in a body of light substance. If you were to see it, it would appear in a form similar to the physical body, but vibrating at a much higher rate. Therefore, it is not visible to the physical sight. It is a living being, intelligent, real, in blazing light. It is a focus of all the God powers that your outer self may draw upon. It supplies the outer self with life, intelligence, power and action. Man enjoys all its powers, but does not understand it. You can speak to it as you speak to a friend. Jesus called it the Father. Rays of intense white light pour out from the presence, some larger and many smaller ones. Around the presence are spheres of light substance in colours of the seven rays and the various tints of each ray. In the centre is the white light, the natural radiance of the presence. Outside of that is a sphere of electric blue. In brackets, on a flat surface, they are portrayed as circles or bands of colour, but are in reality spheres. Close brackets. Outside and around the blue is one of yellow, then around it a beautiful pink, around that crystal white, next is an apple green, then the ruby, in brackets, or this may be gold, close brackets, and the outer sphere is a violet or purple. These are in the order of the seven rays, and they interblend. That is known as the causal body, which contains all the accumulated good, the constructively qualified essence of that life stream through the ages, created both while in embodiment and between embodiments. These spheres vary with each individual in size and quality. White rays from the I Am Presence pour out through these spheres of colour, utilising the qualities there in its cosmic action. They are the action of divine mind and love by which the Presence carries on its creation at cosmic levels. From the heart of the Presence is a ray of light extending down, entering the human body through the top of the head, in brackets, where the soft spot is in a newborn child, close brackets, and it is anchored in the heart. This is the stream of light that beats the heart and keeps the person alive. When it withdraws, so-called death ensues. In like manner, the presence is connected by a ray of light with the central sun through the sun of the system. The ray of light from the presence, silver cord, in brackets, enters the top of the head, goes to the heart and to the base of the brain, again in brackets, the medulla obliganta, close brackets, and from there is distributed by tiny threads of light to every cell of the body. This is how your body has life. This is an unconscious action on the part of the outer self, but consciously carried on by the Christ self, in brackets, higher mental body and the body elemental. There being distributed enough light for the body to function properly in the physical to render the services in the outer that the Christ self wants to do in that embodiment and fulfill the divine plan. In mankind today, much of the energy is drawn down by the outer self and used discordantly in the various human expressions, but it should be poured back in love to the magic I am presence, thus completing the circuit. That is the right action. Around the human form is a pillar of light. It is established or placed there by the magic I am presence at the call of the outer or personal self. This pillar of protection insulates the lower bodies from the vibratory action in which one must move. Within the pillar of light can be established the transmuting violet flame of divine love, mercy and compassion. This is also done at the call of the personal self and can be activated at any time to any degree depending on the capacity of the individual. This is how one can redeem karma, the destructively qualified energy of all lives.
or misuse of energy of the live stream as well as that accepted from without. This accumulation is condensed around the physical form. In between embodiments, this accumulation stays in the atmosphere of Earth while the individual sojourns into the realms of light. At re-embodiment, most of it is held in abeyance until around the 14th year, when it is returned to the individual, its creator. The pillar of light and violet flame interpenetrate each other. Above the physical body is the Christ Self, in brackets, higher mental body, called the Higher Self. It is also known as the Guardian Angel. It abides between the presence and the outer or human form, brackets, usually not illustrated. It has been provided by the presence to act for and take care of the requirements of the outer self. It is the only begotten Son of God. The Christ Self is the action of the presence that knows its perfection and also knows the imperfections and requirements of the outer self. It is endowed with a discriminating intelligence to act in the outer. It might be termed a step-down transformer with the capacity to act in the lower realms. The Christ Self does not accept any imperfection of the outer, but remains wholly pure and perfect. It is an intelligent being in a body of light, has form, but of a lower vibratory rate than that of the Presence. It is the vehicle through which the Presence acts in the physical realm. Therefore, when you call to your Presence, in reality, the Christ Self performs the service. The bodies of the Presence and Christ Self are just as tangible in their own realms of vibratory action as the physical body is here to the physical senses. The diagram, given in the book, represents your own individualized presence of God, I am, in its relationship to you. A picture is an outpost of what it represents. A picture is the greatest focus of any divine being or inner activity in the outer world. The diagram or chart is the only explanation of the truth of this law. It is an eye picture of the release of the power of the universe, which knows no opposite. The knowledge and understanding of the presence and its action is your freedom. The diagram, in brackets chart, shows the trinity of your faculties acting at one point. It is a trinity of action. It is the action of the threefold flame. In every activity in the universe, there is a trinity of action, love, wisdom, and power, which in the knowledge of the presence becomes one. The chart is only an outer picture of it. One needs, then, to make effort for the realization of it. That is what these teachings are trying to do, to realize God. Contemplate the presence, the chart at night. Keep feeling, feeling it is your powerhouse. One can hold a steady gaze upon the upper figure until a funnel of light forms between you and it, especially on a coloured chart. Most important is your knowledge, understanding and acceptance of your individualised I am presence in relationship to yourself as represented on the chart. Even an individual who is doubtful, if he were to look at the chart sincerely, wanting to know for five minutes each day, he would get his proof. The I Am Presence When you call to the Presence, you are calling to the Presence of everyone in the world. Even earnest students do not realise what a power their call to the Presence is. Contemplate life. Where does it come from? From the magic I Am Presence. Without that life, light, energy, flowing into you from the presence, you would have no intelligent thought, feeling or action. Therefore, you can see that it is the action of the presence of God. The presence is the doer in every way. So as to make the outer self accept the fact, you can say to your presence, it is my magic I am presence making this call. It is the presence acting and also answering it. 
Because mankind have turned away from the light, brackets, although there is the connection with their presence through the ray or stream of light into the heart, close bracket, each one must now again make a conscious connection with his source, make contact with his own God presence anchored in his heart, to go on into greater expansion and cosmic activities, it is one's own I am presence he will progress in or through. No one can get away from that no matter what the teaching is. Each day hold the attention definitely and unwaveringly on the presence even if just for a short time. Try to realise when contemplating the presence that in it are the powers of the universe given to you as a gift of divine love. Attention to the presence is the most powerful thing in the universe, but the attention must be held unwavering for a time. Knowing the presence, you now have a point of focus in which to anchor your attention. Give attention to and become acquainted with your individualized presence of God, the magic I am presence. Since we, of our own free will, have turned away from the presence of God, it will not act in our world except by invitation. As you give attention to and call to your presence, it will expand more and more through you. And as less attention is given to discord, and the presence expands and increases its light in you, the shadows and limitations will decrease. Your consciousness determines the distance of the presence. Its closeness is according to your thought and feeling. It is not a matter of distance according to the human sense of space. In cosmic reality, the presence abides in a certain realm of light. If the presence and causal body abide in the atmosphere of Earth, how could any discord or imperfection be there? The presence in actuality is not in Earth's atmosphere. It is a being of a four-dimensional and even higher dimensional action. But of course, in radiance, it can be as great and as close as you accept it. It was said that if the Christ self came as close as three feet to the outer self, the latter would become blazing light. The presence is constantly active at cosmic levels. The energy in the causal body is not stagnant. The presence directs light rays through it and utilizes the accumulated good in cosmic creation. The presence knows not of the human creation of the outer self, but the Christ self does. When one is purified and harmonized sufficiently, the accumulated good in the causal body is released into one's outer use. The threefold flame in the heart is a projection of the presence, but the greater part is above. More and more of that presence can be drawn forth and made manifest through the physical form. Even where the presence is portrayed close to the physical body, it is still without. The need is to get more of it in action through the physical body, and that is done through consciousness and not through a concept of form in three-dimensional activity. The threefold flame in the heart of undeveloped mankind is only a spark. In an advanced student, it becomes a little replica of the presence, which is in some teachings referred to as the golden man in the heart. Other teachings have a more abstract idea as to God and law, while this new instruction explains God as an individualized presence within and above and to which the physical form or body is connected. It gives one a sense of something more concrete. Most people have a concept of God as an abstract principle only, instead of a focused presence, an individualized living being, a being to whom you can talk and who hears and answers your prayers or calls. Contemplate your presence. Try to get a feeling of its reality, a living, all-wise being. Pour your love to it, and it is possible to feel a response from it. Some people think they cannot love a being unseen to them or not present to their physical touch. Yet when one thinks it through, he can generate a feeling of love when he thinks of a child or a person he loves very much. In that same way, one can pour love into his own God presence, who has been ignored and forgotten for a very long time, yet through the ages 
it has kept on giving you life and all by which you have had an existence. The spheres of colour around the presence represent the powers of the presence. They are symbolised by blue, which represents power and protection. Yellow, illumination, the Christ in action. Pink, love, divine compassion. White, purity. Green, precipitating power, consecration. Ruby, the colour of the sixth ray. Brackets, instead of ruby, gold is usually used at this present stage of development, as Jesus, the Chohan of the sixth ray, has been working under the Christ activity. Close brackets. The action administration. Violet, brackets, the violet flame. Close brackets. Transmutation. The action of the seventh ray is not only that of transmutation, brackets, on other planets where there is no discord, they do not need purification as we do here on earth. Close brackets, but also of invocation and radiation. The colours of the causal body are tentative. We use one colour for each ray, although each colour is sevenfold, ranging from a very light tint to a very deep colour. For example, the violet, from a light orchid to a deep purple. This knowledge of the individualised presence gives one a definite focus of God, a powerhouse and active intelligence from which to draw. Knowing God, just as spirit, does not give that. Spirit is the radiance or radiation of the focalised presence of God. Spirit is the radiation, the aura or causal body, but within that is the individualised presence. It is said God is spirit, God is love. Yes, true, but those are only abstract ideas. Here is a vital and important point in this understanding, not given in other teachings, that our individualised presences of God are in heaven, the higher realms in brackets, while we as individuals are active in the human realm. The presence is the highest activity, individually, the presence of God, whose thought is flame and whose desire is creation. Your presence is the foundation of the universe. It is one with the great I am. Your presence, brackets, the governor of the universe, close brackets, has projected you, the light pattern upon which your human form is built, so you see You are a part of that great perfection. Your presence is individualized, yet it is one with the great I am, which is one in quality, so we can justly say that all are one. The mankind of earth were immortal beings before they came, and not to evolve into immortals, but to expand their light and become greater outposts to render service to the universe. You are outposts of the presence. You are the focus of the Godhead at your point in the universe. Acceptance is a power of infinite activity within you. It is the presence in action. According to your balancing of its powers, will you have the fullness of the presence or only part of it? When we call the presence into action, it compels divine love, wisdom and power in balanced action. God in action. Think what that means. There is only one way. Your acknowledgement of the magic I am presence. The energy flowing through the stream of light, the silver cord, as it is sometimes called, does not discriminate. But when you call to the presence, that becomes a wholly different thing. It is one thing to know the presence is there, but to have its action here is the great command. That ray of light from the presence is just energy flowing. When one knows the presence, then in the call to that presence, it becomes love, wisdom and power in balanced action. One who does not know and accept his or her magic I am presence cannot have that action. Everything that is in the physical realm has come through the stream of light from the presence. 
that energy from your electronic body, the I am presence, can be requalified. Charge it with ascended master consciousness which cannot be requalified. It requires only a sufficient determination for anything, for the presence to release the power for full manifestation. Practice accepting the presence. One must use or practice the presence. Just to come into the knowledge of the presence is not enough. Know in your feelings that a ray of light from the presence beats your heart. The open door, really, represents the presence.